So Bill Maher has uh, completely and utterly lost his mind, and that's become readily apparent on his show. He's somehow getting worse and worse. It matters to me when you say you're going to take away my private health care. It matters to me when you say we're going to open up the not borders take and away, give... Actually, we're going to give you and you but and every other plan, American but that's not what the free health care that's, that's going to be paid for say. by taxes like in every other civilized country. Yeah. You're going to get a lot of things if, if Bernie is your I don't president. Believe and you the really government yeah. giving me stuff like that because it's but never free. Also, and you know, someone's the idea that the government... Can you pay your taxes? But, that, but you have such faith in the government. The U.S. government yeah. can yeah. really... Exactly. Take over. Oh, the the you government have, you have can such take faith in the corporate markets. I mean, Medicare yeah. is far more no, no. efficient. Medicare is far more no, no. efficient than right the private now, health we don't insurance. Have a democracy and it's, all, it's always I'm a corporation. Not, but there's something, something in between. I mean, Elizabeth Warren always talks about the insurance companies. That's not where most of the money is. It's the hospitals. Thank you. It's, it's Somebody has profit, to stop the gouging. But that, it's the profit motive in right. healthcare, which incentivizes, Mike but, Moore, thank you for educating us, sickness is right. what our profit motive but, is but the practicality so of the, the U.S. Money. government taking over a sixth of the economy. It's crazy. And it's, uh, I, just don't have, I just don't have that we kind of thing. Yeah, because they already do it. They, they take over, uh, they do the police force, the fire department, the libraries, the public schools. The military. The military. Well, that's what the Democrats can, have to stop. Can I present a scenario? I think this might be one of those years where it's the, well, the discussion Mike and I were having. It's that they can't get over that Centrist versus socialist thing. So Elizabeth Warren at some point takes Bernie's voters. He drops out. It's Warren and Biden. And they go to the convention, and it's deadlocked. This has happened before in American yeah. politics, and they need a compromise candidate. I'm looking hard at Amy Klobuchar. You know why? Because, like, the, this is not an insult to Amy Klobuchar. I like you. But when they put generic Democrat on yeah. the ballot, they win. So you don't like, have a. Fa yeah. She's a woman, so like that helps. That moves a lot with the rest of Wilkesters, and then she's. Why a do you think that economic populism, whatever you want to call it, socialism, democratic socialism, etc., Medicare for all, is so unpopular? When a poll just came out that had Bernie Sanders beating Trump in Texas by more than any of the other candidates, the last twenty polls have shown Bernie Sanders beating Trump. And here's the other thing, though. Meaning. Meaning that you don't need a centrist to win. Centrism is why we have lost. It's why we lost well, a thousand first state houses. Yeah. It's why we lost the lineup. We ran a centrist. We lost. Massive, massive credit to Crystal Ball there. She absolutely educated Bill Maher. And, uh, you know, it's so rare these days to get a voice of reason on this show. Because Bill Maher usually invites his, like, keep it real, really old, out-of-touch, wealthy liberal friends, and they think that they, like, actually represent the left, and they just don't. And, Bill, you just don't. <laughs> so, it, it's a, it was a breath of fresh air to have Crystal set the record straight there. Now, Bill Maher himself, I don't know what happened to this guy, man. I don't know what happened to him, but he has moved further and further and further right as the years have gone on. Now, you know, some have a theory that, hey, it's it's because Trump just, like, broke his brain. That's what happened. In the Trump era, he just doesn't... He can't think straight now. I don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. All I know is he's making the shittiest arguments I've ever heard in my life. He thinks Amy Klobuchar could be the nominee because of, you know, a deal at the convention, and he thinks that would... that would get the left to fall in line because Klobuchar's a woman? Are you out of your mind? Amy Klobuchar has been running the most boring campaign in human history. She's stuck at 1%, maybe 2% max. Nobody likes her. Watching paint dry is more exciting than listening to her talk. Her positions are utter trash. She's a, a perfect embodiment and representative of the old school politics that led to Donald Trump getting elected in the first place. And again, as Crystal pointed out, that's your solution? But, Bill, we ran the experiment. It just happened in 2016. This idea of, like, oh, the left is going too far. No, the center has gone too far. The center is way too centrist and corporatist. If the center was the way to win, we wouldn't have lost a thousand seats. If the center was the way to win, you'd have a President Hillary Clinton right this second. But you don't have that. You want to know why? Because they don't stand for anything. 
This is a thing that I've been thinking about a lot recently. You know, say what you want about the Republicans. We have nothing but negative things to say about the elected Republicans, okay? But you know what they stand for? Of course you know what they stand for. Uh, uh, build the wall, fuck immigrants, uh, you know, cut taxes on the rich, deregulation. They're crystal clear as to what they stand for. Ask yourself what the corporate Democrats, what the centrist Democrats stand for. Go, go ahead. Answer it in your own head. What is it? Nothing. It's, I'll tell you what it is. It's Tom Perez. Oh, uh, I'm for good things and I'm against bad things. I believe good things are positive and bad things are negative. All they have is platitudes and cliche. Break down the barriers stronger together. Because they don't actually stand for anything concrete. Because they've triangulated themselves into oblivion. You know what triangulation is? Triangulation is this political concept that came about back during, you know, the Bill Clinton era. Um, he was a new Democrat. New Democrats stood for, who me? <laughs> no big deal or anything, but I'm like above the political fray. So, you know, you got people to the right of me, the Republicans, then you got Democrats to the left of me. I'm a new kind of Democrat. I'm above the fray and I find, I find common ground here in the middle. I'm Bill Clinton. <laughs> it's like a mix of Bill Clinton and Jay-Z. But that's what triangulation is. Oh, who, me? Oh, I'm above the tribalism. I'm like, pfft, I'm like in the reasonable center. And then what does that actually mean functionally? It means, oh, let me find all of the areas where the right and the corrupt sellout left agree to help corporations in the military industrial complex and screw everybody else. So it's, it's agreeing to give away the farm on what your core values and policies are actually supposed to be. It's agreeing like, yeah, Wall Street deregulation is great. Cutting taxes for the rich is great. Giving endless no-bid contracts to military industrial complex is great. Endless war is great. This is what centrism is. That's what it is. The way to defeat guys like Trump, especially the fake populist right, is with real populists on the left. The people on the left actually have a vision. The vision is Medicare for all, free college, living wage, end the wars, Green New Deal, legalize marijuana, so on and so forth. That's the way to win. That is absolutely the way to win. And like Crystal pointed out, in Texas, you have Bernie beating Trump in Texas. That shows you this, this dynamic he has in his head, this paradigm he has in his head of like, you know, uh, the left versus right, center versus Republican. Like, he's just thinking about politics the wrong way. It's the populism, stupid. It's the anti-corruption, stupid. Like, that's what it all comes down to. And then finally, he even has moved away now from Medicare for All. He just said, you have so much faith in the government, talking about Medicare for All. Well, first of all, Medicare for All is not a, quote, government takeover of healthcare. So he's feeding into right-wing propaganda there. It's just not the case. There's all different versions of single-payer healthcare. But, uh, you know... One that you see in a lot of places in the developed world is this idea of you basically just change the funder. <laughs> That's it. So you have all the same. It's public funding of private institutions. That's a very simple way to change the system. Still have all private providers, okay? But it's all a single payer, the government, where it's, it comes out of your taxes. So it's free at the point of service. But it's public funding. Tax money goes to private institutions. That works totally fine. Now, you can go full NHS style and do public funding of public institutions. Um, but bottom line is, you don't have to change. It's not like you get these, like, government bureaucrats that come in out of nowhere and they don't know what they're doing. And it's like, you know, all of a sudden the DMV is running healthcare. That's not the way it works. But he's making it seem like that's the way it works. And he's acting like, you guys have so much faith in the government. Bill, you used to be in favor of Medicare for all. You supported Bernie Sanders in 2016. And now you're acting like that's not the answer when we know objectively, empirically, that is the answer because we have the studies, we have the data, we know it works throughout the developed world, we know it covers everybody at half the cost with better health outcomes. He's lost his damn mind, man. He has lost his mind. I guess that's what happens when you've been that removed from regular people for as long as he has. You hate to see it.